Hey guys, uh, welcome to our Coding Box Automation Lab. This is Shorifung. Today we're going to learn very interesting topics. Uh, it's called headless automation. How to perform headless uh, uh, browser testing in Selenium. So let me explain you. So Selenium web, uh, you know, so we know that Selenium uh, web driver, web driver is a Web automation tool which uh, enable you to run the test against different browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, and so on. So use a particular to use a particular browser with Selenium. You need to corresponding driver or .exe file, right? So, but then what is headless browser? A headless browser is a web browser. Is a web browser. Without a graphical user interface, so when you run any test or run in a, any a, a browser uh, without a headless, so definitely it means it since it's called headless, so it not it, you will not or will not able to see the graphical user interface of the browser. It will work behind the scene, but will not able to see the UI. Okay, so sometimes we need to you know do the performer automation in headless browser mode you know so what is the reason why we need to do one of the big reason it's help you to speed up your testing performance so to perform a headless uh, testing is one of the popular reason it's uh, well, when you do the performance or load testing however Say, uh, assume that you know you're running a lot of tests, and some reason your machine is pretty slow or server is slow, it's not responding that uh, you know very well. Uh, so, uh, that's a, one of the you know you will see that when you run a lot of test cases, it's gonna happen. So, that time we can run a, our test in headless mode, so it will do the exactly the same thing it does in a, in a graphical user interface or any browser when you do when you do the test but the difference that it will not able to see this so there will be no graphical user interface mode so it means you know it will uh, use the less resource in your machine it will not uh, uh, you know have any issue uh, you know, for the performance and uh, and your testing will be speed up okay that's one of the reason to perform a headless uh, automation in headless mode so let's see how can we do it it's very simple you know it's very simple. Uh, we'll see how we can perform our uh, testing in Chrome browser in a Chrome browser in headless mode using or it's gonna be run in a Chrome browser using headless mode. But there is a another way like it can run without any browser even. You know, so uh, so that we'll we'll make it. We'll try to make another video that will cover using a different. Web driver like Chrome for for the Chrome browser we have a driver like you know a Chrome driver for Firefox we have a Gecko driver so similarly for head headless mode you know there is a different different browser that uh, there is a driver it's like one of the drivers is called uh, Ghost driver you know the Ghost driver is very famous another driver is called HTML unit driver you know so we'll see we'll make a separate video for using those driver but this video is particularly we will use the Chrome browser in headless mode. Okay, let's see how can we do this. So okay, let's go to our Eclipse. I create a I create a, uh, a class. It's called a headless test. Okay, very simple. And then I use the set property method. And then you know uh, this is a Chrome driver key, and this is the uh, the uh, directory path for our Chrome driver exe file. You know those are those are the very uh, simple prerequisite. And then I put the you know web driver driver equals new Chrome driver the relation should be doing the web driver interface and Chrome driver class. Then I use the uh, the maximize method to maximize the window, and this is the page. You know we're going to test. So I use the get method and then I will get the title of the page and I will print it. Okay, this is simple, right? So let's run this and we can see first this one in regular, you know, a Chrome browser and then we'll perform in our headless mode. Okay, let's run it. Okay, 
is run to the page. Okay, pretty good. Looks like it's launched, so close this window and let's see. Here is it. So I can we can see in console the title, you know, this is the print the title is okay. So current loss automation learn on and, and be an expert in knowledge. Pretty good, right? So it was performed completely in Chrome browser. So let's do the same same test in headless mode for the Chrome browser. How can we do this? Okay, let's to do this here just right after our exe file. We declare our exe file. We'll uh, use a Chrome option. There is a class. It's called the Chrome Options. And inside a class, there is a method. Uh, it's called add argument method. We'll use that method. So let's create and since it's a Chrome option, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you know, the free, uh, the uh, free, uh, classes. It comes with the Selenium, uh, uh, API, you know, so, or so we're going to use that Chrome option class. So let's create an object of the Chrome option. So, Chrome options okay and then let's put in a variable say co and then our return to will be same name as our class right okay let's hover our mouse and import the chrome option you know that's a package good and after that so just to make sure that you know you will declare a uh, create this object right after our you know we we uh, declare our driver exe file and then use the object variable co you see there is a couple of you know there's a lot of methods under this chrome options class so one of the one of the method is called add argument and return type is string let's select this one so it's expect a string return type. So put an argument, uh, uh, you know, double quotation, and your argument would be that that this is the thing argument you have to remember. You know, double slash, and then headless type headless. Okay, or the semicolon. Simple. And now, so so now you know this is. The object reference, the very object variable reference is CO. It's referen referencing the Chrome Options class. So it class has a one of the method we're going to use, which is called add argument and argument. What type of argument is called headless. So using this method will applicable where it will this will applicable to this driver. So when driver usually you know uh, launch our browser. So this time. You know, it will tell uh, this method will applicable to driver, and it will tell the driver, "Hey, driver, do the job, but don't you know open your browser because we said it will be headless." So what we have to pass this C or this object reference C O because object reference C O has the knowledge about our Chrome options classes and and particularly the method is called add argument, which is headless. Okay. So we have to pass this one as an argument here for this uh, Chrome driver, okay? So Chrome driver will la launch, but it will be headless, okay? And after that, rest will be same as it is, okay? Let's just put the driver. Let's quit, okay? Quit, quit. That third, okay. Save it. So this time, it will do the job. You know, but you will not see any browser that will be launched, okay? But it will do the job because it will say at the end it's supposed to print the title of our this uh, code inbox automation lab page, okay? Let's save it and then let's run it again. Run job application. Okay, you can see that you know. Notice the console, okay? It's so trying okay it's working you'll see there will be some output here some some print so we we'll print the title if it's a print the title 
Okay, here we go. So we didn't see any browser to launch, but we saw you know all of the activities in in the console was going through, and at the end we we got the output, we got the print statement. We see the the title of the page. So it means it ran behind the scene, and it 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 did the job as we you know expected, and it printed the uh, it printed the title. So the reason it's very helpful when you have a lot of testing or it's your server is slow or your machine is slow some reason you know it's help you to speed up your testing performance okay so pretty much that's it and that's called the you know headless uh, you know the, the automation how we can do the headless mode the automation for a headless headless uh, mode specifically for the uh, using chrome browser similarly you know there is a lot more option that we can run we can do the automation in headless uh, you know the, the option uh, not using any browser okay we'll, we'll make separate video for this so that's all for today uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in next video